how do we adjust the tension of the slider? Use the wire guide, place the wire between the felt disc and three rolls up to the front. Then we start with one of the most critical points, figuring out the right tension of the slider for the wire size we are using. In this case, we use a one-piece slider for smaller wire diameters. If we need more tension, we bend the spring wire slightly upwards. We get less tension if we bend the spring wire in the shape of the magazine. Most operators find out the correct slider tension very quickly after some time. See how I do it without a measuring device. First, I put only a few turns in the shuttle. Then I take the wire end and insert the wire into the slider gap. Then I pull the wire out of the shuttle a bit, the slider moves backwards, and I see if it is too loose or if the wire will cut. In this example, the tension is fine, and I start the test winding. I move the shuttle by hand and watch the wire. The wire must create a proper loop between the wire guide plates. The slider must pull the wire loop out of the wire guide plates. The wire must be tight all the time around 360 degrees. You can see that the wire is not loose. The wire loop is held between the two plates. In this case it is very correct. Then I start the automatic test winding. You can see it is perfect.